All right, guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial here. So in this tutorial here, I want to make a button here. I want to set this button to be disabled after one click. And that might be useful if a player buys something in game or maybe there'd be a certain level to unlock a certain item here. We don't want to make this button do anything here unless we enable the button again. All right. So what we're going to do here is first things first. So let's go ahead and right click here under UI here. Let's go ahead and make a button. And we're going to leave this button just like that. Maybe just a touch bigger for right now here. And we'll make the text a little bit bigger too. This way we can read it. Drop that down when we say size 40. That'll work. And we'll say bold and italic just to make it look a little better from there okay then i'm gonna go ahead and right click here i'm gonna make a new script here and we're just gonna call this new script now when i was filming this for the first time here don't name the script button you're gonna see why in a second here i'm gonna go ahead and open this up here and at the very top here uh let's go ahead and reload that that's because i made a video before this one just as a test you shouldn't see that message we're gonna say using unity engine Dot UI here, so we're including one namespace here, okay? At the very top, here, I'm going to say public void, or excuse me, public button, and we're going to call this new button. So the reason why we can't name the script button here is because we're using this type button here to declare the button in scene, okay? Let's go ahead and save the script here. I'm going to go back to Unity. I'm going to find the canvas right here. I'm going to drag the new script onto the canvas from here. So drag the canvas on here. Now it's looking for a public variable of type button. That's why we have it right there. So if we call the script button here, it's going to get confused here. So we want to make sure that we don't call the script button because it's looking for a type variable of button. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. That's a little button words there. Anyways, here back to Visual Studio here. Button tutorials here. We're going to make a new method here. We're going to say public void. And we're going to just call this a uh, new method. Open that up here. Debug.log. And, uh, debug and we're going to say something like hello world and then beneath this here we're going to say new button dot interactable interactable and we're going to set this equal to false from here okay so now we're going to hook up this method to be on the button here so it's going to do print something to the console here hello world and then that's going to also make the button not clickable here it's not going to, it's going to make it um not interactable anymore so back to unity here We're going to find the button from here. We're going to drag, I'm sorry, hit the plus sign on the on click here, drag the canvas onto it here. Go ahead and drop that down here to new script, and we're going to find the new method right from there, okay? Let's save this here. Let's hit play. If we hit the button here, we see it printed one time here, and we see the button goes gray, and we can't hit that button anymore, okay? So we get a little visual feedback to it. Now, if we want to go in and change different things about the button visually here, we could definitely do that too, and we're going to explore that in more future videos. So if you guys enjoyed this here, be sure to give me a like, drop a comment down below, and subscribe for more future tutorials. If you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to check out my Udemy courses. The descriptions are in the links down below. Excuse me, links are in the descriptions down below.